This video is sponsored by DoubleCoin. Visit DoubleCoinTires.com for more information. With electrification not just coming, but already here, the industry is adapting. Things may not have changed completely over to EVs by now, far from it, but there's no doubt that the industry is different than it was five or even two years ago. For many suppliers, their business is unchanged, but others have had to take a look at their business and carve out a path for themselves in the trucking industry of the 2020s and beyond. One such company is Eaton, best known for making transmissions. EVs don't have 18-speed transmissions, so last month on this show we talked to Eaton about how they adapted to making 4-speed transmissions, specifically for electric trucks. Recent announcements include a line of fuses for commercial electrified vehicles, EV chargers, and a partnership with Bay Systems on an integrated electric drive system for medium and heavy-duty commercial trucks. I stopped by the Eaton booth at ACT Expo to ask about moving into new areas of the trucking industry and some of the details of these new products. Here's what they had to say. You know, Eaton obviously has an extensive history in the commercial vehicle industry, our transmission business, um, our valve, valve train uh, businesses. So you know, we've been in and around the commercial vehicle space for uh, over 100 years. And uh, um, you know, the other half of our company is our electrical sector. You can kind of see some of our products behind us that includes uh, um, charging and battery backup and things like that. So. Um, you know, in this in the new space, the electrification is where these two worlds kind of collide, and uh, so we've been able to take a lot of our experience in history in the electrical sector and translate that into products for the commercial vehicle space. So our a perfect example is the, uh, the the truck series fuse that we just announced. Um, so that is uh, an example of taking one of our stationary fuse products for DC factories and um, you know, getting it up to snuff, uh, so to speak, for the, the, the industrial, or for the, the commercial vehicle application, so passing a stricter vibration standards and things like that. And so then that really gives us a clean path for like supporting megawatt charging and some of those really high power applications. And I wanted to ask, you mentioned the transmission side of the business. Yeah. Um, so what does that look like as we move towards, you know, electric vehicles, hydrogen, that sort of thing? Okay, yeah. So um, we believe that electric vehicles will still require multi-speed transmissions in many applications. So on the back side of the wall here, um, we have uh, a few examples of a medium duty four speed transmission and a heavy duty four speed transmission that just won the, the Pace Innovation Award. Um, so those are both for center drive, um, but even if you are integrating them to like an e axle where the motor is mounted directly onto the axle, we still believe there's there's uh, there's room for multi speed in that space. Uh, so we're working with with OEMs to try and uh, make sure that our our commercial vehicle transmission expertise can can come through in, in electric vehicles. So yeah, maybe we could talk more about the uh, the fuses. That's the uh, the latest news I've seen yep. from you guys. Yep. Um, can you tell me um, what makes that important? Yeah, I, I mentioned it. Um, they're based on our industrial fuses, and so we we're going to offer um, a series that covers 700 to uh, 900 amps fuses, so that's significantly larger uh, than our orange round body fuses that, that you see on the walls and are in um, many production light vehicle applications. Yeah. Um, and what that allows you to do is to, um, you can use these fuses in parallel, and that gives you coverage of up to 3,000 amps, which is uh, the megawatt charging standard. Okay. So when when uh, OEMs are talking about that they, they need faster charging on their vehicle, uh, anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 amps on board the vehicle, um, we still believe that managing that kind of power um, is is done best with a thermal fuse. Uh, it's cur current limiting, it can handle really high uh, fault currents. And so that's uh, that's why we're really excited to, to bring some of our experience into the, into the commercial vehicle space. Yeah, yeah, and the you know the talk at the show so far has been a lot about you know we need faster charging, we need more yeah. powerful charging. That's right. So yeah. That is going to be really important. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, there's uh, 
there's a, certainly a cost associated with increasing the speed uh, those yeah. the power levels go up the batteries have to get bigger the protection equipment has to get more bust you have, you have to have thermal management um, but you know we we firmly believe that uh, widely available megawatt charging is is really the key enabler to taking a lot of applications that people that are dominated by diesel today that will uh, you know the, the cost of ownership equation flips dramatically if, if you can charge at that, that kind of speed and, and run something in electric.